Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. In a previous video called, Deploy to Railway, I used a SQLite database. I chose SQLite because it eliminated having to create a database server on my local system. Choosing the right database software is often thought of as a concern for a database administrator. But it can be equally important of a decision for developers, whose programs will be interacting with the database software. At the time of this video, users of Wappler can choose between, MySQL, MariaDB, SQLite and Postgres SQL databases. Of these, MySQL is one of the most popular relational databases in the world, offering fast performance and production-ready power. However, this may not be the only reason to use MySQL. For many web hosts, this may be the only database software that is available. In this video, I will show you how to create a MySQL database without having to install a database server on your local system. For this, I will be using Railway to store the database. Without further ado, I'll now create the database. I log into my account using GitHub. If you do not have a GitHub account, please refer to my previous video, Deploy to Railway. Here I will use the project called, Sorting, that I had already created. To add a database, I select, New, Database and choose, Add my SQL. Railway tells me that the database is being created. After about 20 seconds, I see a message that says, all is well. I select the database. The message in the pop-up window states that I can now create the tables. Although this is easy to do within Railway, I choose to use the database manager in Wappler to do this. What is important are the variables that Railway has created. I use these variables to connect to the database within Wappler. And that is it for the creation of my database. In Wappler, I turn to my project where I have used a SQLite database. I rename this database connection so that I can use the original name for my new database. Then I create a new connection. In the pop-up window, I give the connection a name. For the database, I choose my SQL 8. For the host, I need to refer to the variables that Railway has created. Here I click on the copy icon and paste the value into the database connection. For each of the following fields, I repeat the copy and paste. Testing the connection shows that all is well. I can now add the table and related fields. When done, I save the database changes. Now to add some data. But before I do that, let me turn to Railway to see what has happened there. Here I see that the database table has been created as well as the table fields. Now add a few items. And save the changes. I do not want to apply the changes later, just a plain old save. Note that the changes in Railway. When I open the page containing the database items, I see that these are correctly listed. 
and that is how easy it is to connect to a MySQL database for local development without have to install a local server. Normally, I would now publish the site. Using Railway as the host, all this would mean is to push the repository to GitHub and Railway would do the rest. However, if I were to do that now, it would upset the original project. Reason for me to desist. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And please remember the thumbs and comments. Maybe even subscribe to keep up with the latest. Thank you for watching.